Uh, so my name is Daniel Ansari. I'm a professor in the Department of Psychology at Western University. And uh, I research children's development of early number skills using both behavioral and brain imaging methods. My role at this conference as a speaker is to talk about our work on basic number processing. So this morning I try to emphasize the critical role that learning numerical symbols plays in the early development of mathematical skills and how even in kindergarten we need to work on connecting concrete and abstract representations of number in order to help children and scaffold their understanding so that they're ready to learn how to manipulate those symbols and do all sorts of things with those symbols in elementary school. But I think there's always room for improvement. I think one of the things that's, as a researcher, that I feel is really necessary is for, for evidence to play a greater role in educational decision making. So we're learning so much in cognitive science, in cognitive neuroscience, and basic psychological research about how children acquire mathematical skills. That research, unfortunately, is not finding its way into the classroom as readily as it could be. I think we need to have changes in professional development. We need to have changes in pre-service education and bring the science of learning into education uh, to a greater extent than is currently uh, the case. I think related to that, I think we have to work on not creating false dichotomies, for example, between you know, discovery, what some people call discovery math and others call back to basic movements. And unfortunately, what I'm seeing from the outside is that sometimes people are very strongly affiliating themselves with one or the other. All the research shows that it's a false dichotomy. You need both. You need to think about it developmentally. So I think overall, and this is with the bias of a scientist, I think science needs to play a greater role in education uh, than it currently does. I think one thing that I hope teachers would take away from this is that uh, numerical symbols, Arabic numerals, number words, are non-trivial, that they're abstract representations not just of numerical magnitude, but they refer to ordinal relationships, they refer to visual and verbal information that can be transcoded, and that children need a lot of practice in order to learn those symbols. And the other thing that I think I would like teachers to take away, at least from my presentation, is the importance of not creating dichotomies, of using evidence to inform your practice, seeking out that evidence, and also being critical about the kinds of things that you're being told. To always ask for, what is the evidence behind this? Is there a peer-reviewed study? Is there some accepted research that I can base my practice on, that I can use to inform my practice?